Hi, everyone. I want to thank you for watching today's video. This is our new podcast for Ignite Fire. And if you're on YouTube, like and subscribe. Hit that notification button so you know when the next video drops. And if you're on our Facebook, like and follow us so you can stay up to date with what we are doing. And follow us on Instagram. So the question is, what is Ignite Fire? Well, my name is Jacob, and I am the founder of Ignite Fire, and we are a mobile ministry. And this ministry would not be possible if it wasn't for my wonderful wife, Jess, my good friends, Uriah, and Gabriel Garcia. And we have a, uh, a worship team that's working together, and we are a mobile ministry. And we're different than most churches and most religious institutions, which are categorized under a 503C, and we are a 508C1A. Well, why does that make a difference? Well, when you're under a 503C, you are restricted by the government not to be able to say certain things from the pulpit. And us being a mobile ministry doing live events, outdoor events, we want to be able to speak the truth, what God is convicting us, what's happening in the world, and to be able to speak on those topics and things that are controversial. Why is that important in today's time? We are going through craziness in this nation, and I believe that to be able to combat what is happening in the giants that are in the land, we have to be able to preach the truth. We have to be able to get into politics and business and be able to share our heart and what the Bible says on those subjects. To be able to be, I mean, the world is using the social media platforms and they're using television and actors and all of these people to be able to put an agenda on what they want for purposes that are selfish and for selfish ambitions and they're and they have a certain agenda well it's time for the church to come and wake up and to begin to go out and preach like we used to back in the day in the beginning of our nation there was tent revivals all across this nation, strong preachers preaching, and, be, and they were having miracles, signs, wonders. All these things happen, and, I, and we are inspired to do that again with Ignite Fire. We have been so inspired by other ministries like Sean Foyt and Billy Graham, Mario Murillo, and uh, uh, Reinhard Bonnke doing mass evangelism and preaching the gospel and having miracles, signs, and wonders happening. I mean, Billy Graham was, was, was leading the way, standing next to uh, Martin Luther King Jr. and standing in the political realm saying this is wrong, racism is wrong. That God loves us, whether you're black or whether you're white or whether your skin color is different or brown or, or whatever. God loves us the same, that we both bleed red. He was able to stand up and speak the truth. And that's, what's ha that's what we need today. We need to be able to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, his death, his resurrection. He's alive with miracle signs and wonders. And we need to be able to say, like Jeremiah, standing up to the priest, standing up in the government, standing up for those who are doing wrong and saying, look, turn from your ways, repent, come back to God, because this is the truth. We need strong preachers, and we need prayer. We need prayer all across this nation, and with prayer, anything's possible. But we need more than just prayer. God answers prayer, and don't get me wrong, we need prayer, but we need action, and we need strong preachers preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we're inspired by the Sean Foyts and Mario Murillos. We're inspired by Billy Graham and, and Reinhard Bonnke and how they did mass evangelism, preaching the gospel of Jesus and seeing miracle signs and wonders. And we are, I've been so inspired ever since uh, 2020 when I put some speakers out, when they shut down everything, and I had my little notebook and pad, and it was terrible, but I started, I started sharing what God had put on my heart, and we started worshiping. And all of a sudden, all these people came together, and what was surprising was that worship bring unity. 
And we believe in coming together in unity, in worship, in power, to preach the gospel, to break chains and give deliverance and set people free. And the truth is what sets people free. The truth of the gospel. And ever since 2020, I got, a, I got enrolled in Karis Bible College, and, and, I, and I, I got my education in, in biblical studies. I, w- I got an opportunity to travel to Ecuador, and we saw mass revival and healing on a scale personally that I have never seen before. And my heart turned towards Arizona. And I said, what we're doing in these other countries, we have to do here. What Sean Foyt's doing and Mauro Murillo and all these people are doing all across the nation, we have to do in Arizona. My heart is for Arizona. And so... As, I, as we got together, the flame of the Holy Spirit was sparked and Ignite Fire began this past January. And now we have a worship team, we're, we have the lights, we have the speakers, we're working on getting the platforms so we can put our, our equipment on and the trailer, and, and, but we have everything to do outdoor concert events. And we have been doing it since January, partnering with different churches, doing it in parking lots. Something happens, I believe, when we set up outside, put the speakers, and worship God in the open air. It changes the atmosphere, and people are getting saved and healed and delivered, and people are knowing that Jesus is alive and well, and we need the power of his Holy Spirit. We need the power of his boldness. We need all these things, and we need powerful preachers to stop hiding behind the pulpit on what the government wants to tell you and and oppress. We need to stand up and say, it's time to vote. It's time to stand up against what is wrong. It's time to be filled with the Holy Spirit so we can go in boldness and preach the truth and stand for truth and break the chains that are on this nation. That's what Ignite Fire is all about. That's what we're doing. And if you want to partner with us, go to our website at ignitefire.org where you can donate. Or if you want to get involved and be a volunteer for our next coming events, go to info at ignitefire.org and you can reach us and email us and get involved. We want to go deeper. We want to preach the truth. And we want to operate in the power of the Holy Spirit. And again, we want to bring unity to the body of Christ. Unity through worship and the preaching of the gospel. We, I believe, are a movement. A movement of God for for Arizona. And I believe that God is stirring the hearts of people in Arizona. I believe that Arizona is going through a shift. And I believe what is happening in Arizona, the revival that is beginning here in Arizona, is going to rattle and shake the nations. So like, follow us. And this is our new podcast. So if you will have any questions or want things answered from the Bible, please leave a comment down below. And I'm going to pick a topic whatever you guys put on there, and I'm going to start sharing from the Bible those topics. We want to pray for people on this podcast. We want to help people on this podcast. We want to use Ignite Fire, our podcast and platform, to help our people and nation and build our faith and the power of God. We have some big dreams, some big goals. I see stadiums, stadiums filled with 40,000 plus people and people come together for worship and the power of the gospel and lives are changed and things are happening politically, spiritually, physically. That is our goal and purpose of Ignite Fire. So the question was, what is Ignite Fire? Ignite Fire is a movement. And I'm asking you to partner with us in prayer, financially, and physically for volunteers and help us reach our community. I want to thank you guys for watching today. And until next time, God bless.